Okay, so this particular video, I wanted to share just some of the best practices for when you're setting up your inventory for the first time in your retail point of sale system. The idea here is if you do a little bit of homework ahead of time and use some of these best practices, it's going to really make life easier down the road, especially when it comes to reporting and things like that. So I want to make a few things clear. Um, I'm assuming that you have a retail store that you plan on printing your own barcode tags, labels, shelf tags, hang tags, etc., using your own PLU or SKUs, um, which I do recommend because then you can, you know, print out something with your business name, your price, barcode, just it looks more professional rather than just having maybe a price sticker or worse, just using the manufacturer's UPC and not having you know, the price or description. Um, most point of sale systems, you want to double check on this, will allow you to have multiple numbers associated with the same product. So you can have the manufacturer's part number, the UPC number, plus your own internal number. Also, this assumes that you've gotten one of the point of sale systems that can handle at least two levels of departments and or categories. So either you have departments and below departments you have categories or you have departments and sub-departments or you have categories as the top level and departments as the next level, categories and subcategories. It's all verbiage is a little different in each program. And this will bring up a key point. That's what limits programs like NCR Silver and First Data Clover. They only have one level on that. That doesn't give most folks the detail that they need. You also want to double check if your point of sale system will allow you to auto assign sequential PLU or SKUs because that will save quite a bit of time. So the first step, and I've made this very basic, obviously it's going to vary on your mindset and what you actually carry, but just sit down and sketch it out. So my under my store's inventory, I know I want to break things down, so I have clothes, footwear, and accessories. And then for, that's my top level or level one. And level two, under clothes, I know I have men's, women's, and children's. Under footwear, I have running, boots, and sandals. Under accessories, I have belts and ties. And again, the nice thing about this is, is you can break it down the way that works best for you. Again, keeping in mind that part of this ties into how the system reports and things like that. And so then I just assign numbers to close at 01 again at level one footwear 02 accessories 03 and then for my level two under clothes men 01 women 02 children 03 running 01 boots 02 sandals 03 and belts and ties 01 and 02. you may also want to check with your bookkeeper or your accountant because they may also have a way that the accounting software is set up to track uh, cost of inventory and cost of goods sold and things like that. Um, just to play it safe so you don't do too much work and then find out it doesn't match with how they like to have the reports generated. And so then you take that information and it really breaks down pretty easy. So level one, which is our top level department or category, which is like our clothes, is the first two digits of the PLU or the SKU. So we know that clothes is zero one, Footwear 02. Level 2, which is our second level department or category, would be the first two digits after level 1. So we know that 0101 is clothing men, 0102 is clothing women's. And then these last three digits are normally sequ sequential, but I do recommend sticking with odd or even numbers because you might have something you forgot that you need to add in. Um, just never hurts to leave contingency space. So that's pretty much it. Um, if I can help in any way, I have literally worked, there's there's 3,800 some contacts in my contact list. And even though I no longer, the company that I worked for went out of business in uh, fall of uh, 2013, I am still continuing as a hobby to help folks for free who are searching for a retail or restaurant point of sale system. 
So I will also put my contact information in the video description. And if I can help, please let me know. Thanks.